Hey, so it's me, my best friend. And today we're going to be showing you how to make the Starburst bracelet. And it's at advanced level, so if you get it wrong the first time or second time, that's okay, because it is hard. So, let's get started. Now, you want to make sure that your arrow is facing forward on your rainbow loop. Now, right now I'm just going to be doing the perimeter, so I'm just going to be using black. And you're going to start from the middle to the side. And then you're going to go forward, like that. But not till the top. Because that's not how you do the perimeter. And now you just connect it from here to the middle. Now you go all the way back to your loom and you connect it like that. And then you just keep on going up until you get to that right here and you're just going to connect it. And now, whoops, now you just have to connect it to here. And now that is how you do the perimeter of the Starburst bracelet. Now I'm just going to put my black away and I'm going to start with purple, which is going to be the middle of your Starburst bracelet. <laughs> okay. So you want to put it from the middle to the side like that. Then you want to put it from here to here. And then down. Just want to push it back. And then you get it here. And then to the side. And then up. So that's just how you do the first one. Now you do the same with the next one. So you go from the middle to the side. To here. And then you connect this one like that. And then to here. You just want to push it back a little bit. And then like that. And up. So I'm going to show you one more time. So you're going to go from the middle like that. And the next one to the side and then connect it and then get this to the side like that and then across so you're going to keep on doing that till here not till here but just till here so just keep on doing the starburst race well the middle part so yeah all right so i'm just going to do the last one as always put it like that and then like that like that whoops just a little bit twisted All right, now we're gonna be doing the cat bands. So you wanna just turn your loom around so it's gonna be easier for you. And I suggest taking some purple rubber bands, well, whatever rubber band you have for the star wrist in the middle, so it's gonna look good in the bracelet. Now, so what you wanna do is you just wanna twist it and then put it on your hand and just place it on over here on the beginning okay and we're gonna do the same thing you're gonna get the cat band twist it get it out and you're gonna put it in the middle not now you're not gonna put it over here you're just gonna put it in each of the middle like where there's a lot of rubber bands so like in the middle so right here is the middle and you'll see so basically you just do it in every middle of the flowers till the top. Alright, so you're just, I'm just going to do the last cap band in the, whoop, in the middle. Now my friend Natalie will be showing you how to loop the Starburst bracelet. So, so now we're going to loop. So you see this capping band, the purple capping band, or whatever color you have. So you pull it back and you take the purple one or the flower like the fall one. Yeah, flower collar. You take it and you pull it forward to the middle. Like that. See? And you see the capping band and and the and the thing that we just looped. You just pull it all back. And you take the first rubber band you have it on the top and you pull it and you pull it to the side from the rubber band. See like that. If it's twisted, you can always fix it. Yeah. So the next rubber band, you pull it back to that one. Like that. And that one. The forward one. The forward one, yeah. You just take it and pull it forward. Easy. And like that. 
You just pull it to the sides. Same here. Look at this. So it should be like a perfect oval shape. If it's not, then you might want to check it. So I'm going to show you last time. So you see this one? And you just pull it forward. Like that. Yeah, there's no nothing there. Like no cap bands. Yeah, and you take that capping band, pull it back. You take the first one you see on the top, and you pull it to its spot. Like this. Look at that. And you, you do the same thing all around the flower. Like this. Like that. And the final last one. And you do that on each flower. So you just do that till the end. And then the next part will be how to loop the perimeter. So just keep on doing that. So I'm just going to do my last flower. So you go down. Oh no, sorry. You take that one, the middle one. You pull it forward. Like that. And you pull it back a little bit. You just do the same process. It's just... Yeah. Good Move the cap band down. Take the first one. Pull it to the side. Oops. It's pretty hard. It's all twisted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta check if it's good. It's really hard to play these two little bands when it's all twisted. <laughs> Alright, and then the last server band. And this is how you loop the flowers. Now we're going to do the perimeter. Yep. So, you go back where you start looping your flowers. So, you see this purple band or whatever color you have for your flowers. You push it down. You take the first black or any color you have. Yeah, first black band is up there. Yeah, you just take it up and pull it like that, like you loop. And you go down, and you just do it like a triple single bracelet till here. I'm gonna show you two more times, like, and you just do it forward, like that. Yeah, so you just go under all of the purple bands there, yeah. or whatever bands you have, and you just get the one underneath all of them. Yeah, and you go up to here, you just gonna have to go there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Just gonna show you one more time. Alright, we're so just gonna connect it. Right now, we're just gonna connect it. You take the bottom one and pull it there. Like that. Like a bridge bracelet. And you go back and you do the same thing till here. So you so just go down all the rubber bands, take the bottom one, the black one, or any color you have, and you pull it to the side. And you do this thing like a triple single bracelet. So we're going to show you two times. Get it from under, pull it forward, under, forward. So just do that like we did on the other side. Till here. Okay, so. so I'm just gonna do my last two, and you go under and move it to the left. Okay. So we are just gonna do our knot. This how it looks. We finish looping it. Now we're gonna do the third step. We're gonna make a knot. So you go under all and take an extra rubber band. of the all of the rubber bands, and you take an extra rubber band. Take a perimeter collar. It's better. It's your choice, but yeah, but. It's just better. <laughs> so you go back from all the rubber bands. You put those two on your side. So you have like two knots here. And you take the last one in the back. The last one. And you let it go. And you see this one. Just pull it like that. And this is how you, your knot looks. Yeah, if you didn't do the knot right, then it's going to just fall all apart. Yeah, I just checked that you took all the rubber bands together. Just yeah. check. Right. And now we're just going to take the bracelet out. I take it from the 
bottom, it's more easier to just take it off like that. If it didn't came out good, it's okay. Yeah, because it is hard. It takes you a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to just get an S-clip ready or C-clip. Yep. And you just put it on your clip like that. You stretch all the rubber bands, put it on a clip. And you take that one, stretch, and put it. And so, this is your starboard bracelet. So, wait. <laughs> Um, there we go, and that's just how you do a Starburst bracelet. So if you want to check out more videos on our channel, then remember to just check it out on our YouTube channel. And yeah, subscribe, like, and comment. Bye!